Hey there Capricorn. This is Chronic Joy Tarot and we're going to do your November 2017 reading for Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign Capricorn. And this is a general reading, not going to really address every single one of you. It's kind of impossible. But if you want a personal reading and you do have some issues that you'd like to sort out or aspects of yourself that you'd like to develop, then go ahead and get in touch with me on this video has the email address and the website that you can connect with me. Um, I'm booking a couple weeks out right now, but you know, we'll get you in so we can figure it out. I have started, I've opened up a new deck for the Oracle this month. I love it. It's called Native Spirit and it's by Denise Lynn. It's really lovely. I, I just love all the elements that it touches on with these Oracle cards. And for you, Capricorn, I pulled this card called Tracker. Okay, so the focus, this card is a lot like the Law of Attraction. That's what it's saying. It is talking about how a tracker in the wild are so micro-focused on one thing at a time, right? That just one little detail at a time and as they head toward their goal, as they head toward you know, their capture or their discovery of what they're tracking. Um, and this is, for you, it's the same thing. It's uh, taking your focus down. To, if there's too many things going on at any given time in your life, take the most important one and drop the rest, right? It's talking about focusing on what you want, not what you don't want, so that you're going forward, forward, forward towards your goal, right? So that is literally the law of attraction in action. Focus on your desires. And if you say, I desire, you know, whatever it is, let's see. I want to move into a new home. But I, but, and just the minute you say but, you're taking your focus off of that desire, right? But I can't afford it. But I don't know where I want to live. But I don't, right? I want to live in a new home. And I want it to feel open and airy and I know the breeze will be on on my face when I open the windows and I I know it's going to have just such comfortable living spaces that is focusing on your desire continue the story right and so we're going to talk about how to do that right now in your life because if you feel that there's too much scatter going on right now we're going to um, help you try to hone that down and figure out you know how to go one step at a time. Just get rid of the non-essential stuff, right? Your starting point here, Capricorn, is isolation. So yeah, this um, if you are in a, in a space right now where there's just too much going on, it might be causing you to shut down emotionally, shut your heart out, and you know, maybe as an, an act of protection, maybe you've got just too many things to focus on and you're not taking care of your emotional body and your heart and your spirit, okay? This could be your starting point. Um, if it is, we're gonna move away from that, okay? We're gonna find a way to expand again and get those, get those truths um, lined up for you, okay? The first card here is an internal energy and yeah, courage. So the main thing about this card, it talks about courage, but it also, the little story behind it, talks about this little seed that is tucked way down there in the boulders. And it's got like a hardened shell, just like this card here, the isolation card, closed up heart, right? Closed off, shut down. It has a hardened shell. And for all it knows, it could just stay that way. It could stay that way, nice and protected, nice and safe, down in the rocks. But then, you know, a little water comes dripping down there and the sun starts to kind of peek through the cracks and the shell softens. And it's like, well, you know, I guess I'll go with it. <laughs> let that shell soften, let the seedling come out, and then it becomes this gorgeous, beautiful flower, which really, as a seed, it never even believed it could be so. It, it just had no idea what it could become. So having the courage to take that first couple steps, soften that, wall around your heart um, and I'm just saying I'm not saying you guys are hard-hearted okay it's like with so much going on in our lives if we're if we're overextended 
we tend to neglect what's going on inside. We want to go with our mental energies and go with our action, our physical action, and get out and do, 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 because we have so much to do. But take care of your internal self as well. That is the root of everything, right? And so that's what I mean by this. I don't mean you're a hard-hearted person. I just mean stay attuned to your heart and your feelings. Stay attuned. Just like the tracker stays attuned to every detail, right? In your external life, you're going to be getting this. You're going to raise yourself to a higher perspective. This card of consciousness talks about, <clears throat> excuse me, um, you know, that ultimate, um, ultimate state of being in your highest state of mind. And the third eye here, your sense of intuition is lit up in this figure in the Buddha. So definitely, if you feel that you haven't been attuned to what's going on within, this is your opportunity. So maybe this actually means, since it's in an external position, meditate more. Don't lose sight of meditate, pray, um, running, doing housework, reading, dancing, whatever it is that can just wash the stuff out of your mind for, even if it's just temporary, even if it's just five minutes, just do more of that so that you can clear it. You can clear it and you'll have a better um, sense of clarity and focus to go forward. Okay. The next internal, yeah, the next internal energy is the healing card, the card of healing. So these steps that we talked about to make sure to tend to our inner world and our inner being is going to have a, a healing effect on you. And make sure that when you're going within to stay in touch with your desires. That's this original tracker card. It's like, don't lose sight of what it is you truly want and what your truth is. And, and um, that's going to have a healing effect because you'll, you'll, you'll come out of it with more hope, with more sense of um, focus toward that which you desire, okay? And the external energy here, the next card is the laziness card. So this is talking about, um, this is an external one. So I'm gonna say you've been, you've been doing a lot and you've, you've been doing a lot of work. Um, okay, I'm, this is spiritual, right? I'm not talking about work in your life, like your job, but you've been doing your inner work and you've, you're in a place right now where you're ready to realign it and go to a higher perspective. And I'm just taking this card as sort of don't stop keep going don't don't rest on your laurels don't think okay i've done all the work i need to do now i'm healed and now i'm better you know especially off the heels of this healing card there's more work there's you know you're still tracking it you're still going you're still putting one foot in front of the other and going forward so you're good keep keep it up okay cause for celebration this is within you so this is talking about how you can see you know, maybe even this starting point here, this isolation was in your recent past and you felt out of touch with your own inner self and you felt that your emotions weren't really um, part of, you know, they weren't being considered and that you're learning it and you, you, let, you let that hard shell soften and you did more practice of focusing on what you desire and it has a healing effect. And inside, within you, you know how far you've come. And you know that that is cause to sort of revel in that and, and appreciate the, the work you've done. You know, all that tracking, all that focus on going forward toward your desires. And you know you have reason to be really happy with your progress. And so then, oh, I love it. It's time for some fun. <laughs> Um, if you can, this is an external energy too, and this is actually kind of like the outcome of the external energies. And so I love how the outcomes of internal and external are mirroring each other, right? Time for some fun. It's time to really just know I'm, a, I'm doing this. I'm, I'm doing a great job. I'm really learning how to show up for myself and um, sort my day out so that I'm going toward my desire. 
and I'm all these non-essential things that have me feeling scattered and busy, they can wait. They can wait. I'm learning it because it's an inside job. It happens from the inside out. You know, you, you take care of your heart and the rest will follow. Okay. All right, Capricorn, that was it. I um, appreciate that you're here and watching this and I love you all so much. And I'll be back in a few weeks, couple weeks for the mid-month update. Take care. Have a happy start to your November.